how's your little business doing? Uh, or mm-hmm. yeah, my little business bought my big truck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to Dana of All Trades. Today I'm doing a very special interview with Andrea Burns and she's gonna tell us all about how she's a boss. What is your job? Describe to everybody that doesn't know you. I am currently a director with Pure Romance and that's because I have a team underneath me. We sell romance enhancing products, but we sell everything from bath and beauty to lingerie, anything you can think of. So it's more than just sex toys. This was not what I aspired to be when I was a young girl. I kind of fell into this by a coincidence. And yeah. I absolutely love it. How did you end up on Pure Romance? I'm sure you don't just wake up one day and say, I want to sell sex. Toys. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not how it happened at all. <laughs> there was a new couple that moved out here. She went, she literally, they moved out here from Washington. She went online and signed up as a way to meet people. Mm-hmm. And then that turned into her bringing cards to work and my husband bringing it home and sliding it across the table and, hey, I think you should have one of these parties. And yeah. I was like, oh, fine. So then at my party, she's like, you'd be good at this. And Aww. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> Tell me more. But um, I signed up at my party. You just had, like, such a good time at the party that you were like... I mean, I'm a mom of two, mm-hmm. and I'm married, mm-hmm. and... For someone to say you'd be good at this was like hook, line, and sinker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you don't get like kudos for right. cleaning toilets or right. making a good meal. 100%. So uh, she totally got me with that line. Oh. What are the benefits of having this job, especially like managing a household and two kids? I think the best part is that I get to make my own schedule. Uh, I don't have to follow someone else's clock. I'm there when my kids need me, and when I'm not there, they don't care. Mm-hmm. Like when I'm gone on a Friday night or a Saturday night doing a party, they're either with their friends now they're old enough or at home eating all the junk food they want mm-hmm. or at Nana's house getting away with murder. Right. <laughs> so they don't necessarily care that I'm out at work, um, but I am home during the day. I'm the first face they see in the morning and the first face they see when they get yeah. home from school. And those things are important to me because my parents worked their butts off for us when we were kids. But there were times that we had to let ourselves in and get ourselves yeah. to school and I wanted to do that for my kids. So that's my, my favorite part. If there's anything my kids can say when they get older is that my mom was always yeah. there. <laughs> In probably, their they face. They probably wish I wasn't here as want. much as yeah. I am. But. <laughs> uh, no, it's great. Like, I could never work a nine to five again. Like, Heck now no. that I've seen the other side, uh-uh. I couldn't imagine. Oh, God, no. Never. My husband, I love him to death. He works 16-hour shifts, like, mm-hmm. almost five, six days a week. And it's been nice to be able to relieve that stress. Yeah. So he doesn't have to work overtime every time it's there because I'm I'm a cushion, and that that feels good. Right. That in itself. I mean, the truck is nice and all of that. Yeah. (laughs) But that side of things just feels good. What would be the worst part then? I would say maybe the one thing that can be looked at as a downside is that not everyone takes me seriously as a businesswoman. Um, maybe like some hostesses may just kind of flake on me last minute and, you know, not think anything of it because to them, it's just a girl's night that that, that's Mm -hmm. canceled. But to me, it's an actual paycheck. Like that's, this is how I pay my bills. Last minute cancellations don't really work well for me or people that kind of like, um, you know, throw those little shade. How's your little business doing? Uh, Or mm -hmm. yeah, my little business bought my big truck. Yeah. 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 (laughs) (laughs) But there's Mm -hmm. just a small handful that doesn't necessarily respect mm-hmm. what I do as a business. I can see that. I can. I understand that. Like, and two, when you don't go to an office, people often don't understand the amount of hours or time that goes into yeah work. Like, it's yeah. still work. Uh, and it, it's like I'm never off. Too. Exactly. I know yeah. that feeling. Or when you have a free moment, you feel like you should be doing something. Doing something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Selling sex toys, I know you say that proudly, and I'm sure your family's used to saying that. Do you get, like, a lot of side eyes, or do yeah. you get shade for this? So, well, when I meet, like, a random stranger, and I don't just, like, walk up to them like, hey, I sell sex toys, you should have a party. Right. Like, I <laughs> ease my way into it very gracefully, and I normally open with a compliment. But <laughs> it works better for me to, to use the angle of a sexual wellness educator or the free fun girls' night in. Because I've been doing this for so long, I've been very open with my kids from the beginning so that they've never felt like this was something that they should be ashamed of. Mm -hmm. So they handle it according to how I've taught them Mm -hmm. about it. And that's part of how I train my team too. Like 
the way you deliver it to people is the way that people will receive it. So mm -hmm. if I am telling people like, oh my God, I do, I do those kind of parties, mm -hmm. they're going to look at it like it's something that should be a secret or mm -hmm. on hush. But because I'm like super proud of what I do, I feel like everybody receives it mm -hmm. as it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, but like my daughter, her teachers will buy from me. Oh, Recently I posted pictures of Ava. She had dressed as me for career day. Aww. She wore my whole like party get up with the jean jacket and the shirt. Oh, and I the, love this. Went to school and was so proud. And one of her Aww. teachers messaged me and was telling me how, you know, your daughter is so proud Aww. of what you do. Like all she did was talk about you all day long. Oh, so I love that. it's all in the way that I deliver it mm -hmm. is the way that people receive it. So do you guys have guys on your team or are there allowed guys at the parties? With this company, it is women only. And basically if a man's in that room when we're doing our demo and the girl time and the girl talk, it changes the whole dynamic mm -hmm. of everything. Yes, I agree. But um, there are so many women that would miss out on the whole experience if a man was there because there are women that are not comfortable with a man being there yeah. when we're talking about sex. No, I just... um, so it's kind of like that whole barbershop concept, like oh, yeah. at a party where like the barbershop is only the guys. Yeah. It's like at the pure romance party, it's only the girls. That one woman that may not come because she's uncomfortable is more important to me than the guy that's going to come. So do you feel like you're like a confidant for these ladies? Do you oh. feel like you know their innermost, <sighs> deepest, darkest secrets? 100%. <laughs> like the messages that I'll get after parties or like, I'll never forget the first message that I got about, you know, you saved my marriage. Like, oh, so you're like a counselor. Oh, it feels like it. It feels like it most times. It a does. sexual counselor. I, But I love it, though. You get super close. Do you have to be a freak to sell? Oh, God, no. Do you have to be a freak in the sheet? Do you, do you use all your products? Do you have to use them? If I used all of our products, I would never leave my bedroom. <laughs> nobody got time. I mean, <laughs> no. I mean, my husband doesn't mind my job. Like, he loves my job. He doesn't mind the perks. <laughs> but no, you do not have to be a huge freak to yeah. sell sex toys. <laughs> What's your next goal? So I had my best year ever in 2018. I set a goal to sell 75,000. I sold 87,500 in 2018. Wow. I plan on just putting it out into the universe that 2019 I will sell 100,000 and have a $500,000 team. So I would love a half a million dollar team this year. Like we'll it's totally due. Yeah. How can they become a part of this? I am really easy to get in touch with. I use all forms of social media. I'm not really Twitter savvy. I am on Instagram as The Burns Boss. On Facebook, I am Andrea Burns. Um, I have a website as well. My website is andreaspassion.com. On any of those platforms, it'll come directly to me. If you wanted to host a party, I mean, hosting a party is free, and the hostess gets 10% of party sales to shop with, plus a free gift, and I always throw in some extra perks for my hostesses. Nice. Um, and then if you wanted to join my team and be a part of this awesome, like, sisterhood, I also do, like, sign-on bonuses, too. So normally it's, like, a $50 in free product, but to be part of that, like, I think every woman needs to be part of something, mm -hmm. something like this. Mm -hmm. um, it just, it just fills my cup. Yeah. Uh, Andrea and I actually went to high school together. You've always been a huge inspiration to me. I don't know if I ever told you that, but even like growing up in high school, like I never had an older sister and you were Jordan's older sister. So and like sweet. you do my hair for dances and uh -huh. things. So like I always looked up to you and I still do now. I think you're a Thank great inspiration. You. you are a boss. Thank you. And the way you run your household and your family and the way you're there for your kids and your an auntie. So oh, auntie God. pride. Yes, for sure. <laughs> and then Love to, you know, just your business and your team and that's yeah. incredible well thank you so much for letting me interview you and giving away half of your day thank uh you. thank you all for watching dana of all trades i'll post andrea's links in the description below and make sure you subscribe to my channel thanks for watching thank you